In the UK and Ireland, at the moment, they're shutting down the 3G networks. So the, we expect certainly Vodafone uh, in the UK and in Ireland to be rid of 3G by the end of the year. It's 2023 this year. In 2024, we expect all the other networks to follow suit. So by 2025, there'll only be 4G and 2G left. And then by the end of 2025, we expect 2G to be gone throughout Europe in line with the switch off of the analog phone network. Those 2G and 3G, those two networks, the circuit switch networks, which means they rely on the analog phone system. Anyway, so what we're gonna to do today, um, we're gonna see what's still available at the moment. It is mid-October, 2023. Uh, we're gonna to connect to our products like this MQ5 on our you know, SIM-free intercom. So this is an IoT product with an IoT SIM in it. Uh, this is a SIM-free product. So you can put any old mobile phone SIM in it. If you've got one of our products, you can just simply go to the large screen and click on the network button and it'll display all the networks it's able to find. It doesn't necessarily have to have a SIM card from that network. It'll just tell you all the networks that are available in that area. This intercom's got the Qualcomm chipset. So it's a bit of an old unit and you can see it's like got 4G, but there's no 4G call and no Volte. See, no Volte there. That's because it's the old Qualcomm chipset. Doesn't really doesn't work on Vodafone. It's got a Vodafone SIM in, as we'll see. So I'll click on uh, networks. Click the button there, and that's the result. So it's a little bit different from the um, IoT units because you can only select the same network you're actually on. It's got a Talk Mobile SIM in, and it's on 4G. Um, it says 3G is still available, and we could select it, and 2G is available. But when when it comes to these SIM-free ones, you really you just don't want to. Don't want to mess with that. You can you can do it, but you'd have to have very good reason to want to select the 3G or 2G on a SIM free. So just let the SIM card decide which network to use. So obviously, Talk Mobile is a Vodafone network, so it, it says these two are available on Vodafone. But even though it's got a Vodafone SIM in it, we can still see other networks. Uh, this, by the way, this is quite interesting. This one that says 23432. 234 is the country code for the UK, so it's a UK network, and 32 is actually. It's actually EE, but it's T-Mobile. We've got all three technologies on all four networks, apart from three, obviously, who never had 2G. These are the new intercoms. You'll see a big difference. We can still see all of the networks. We've, we've got uh, Vodafone, O2, 3. Um, we have the two T-Mobile networks, okay? So that's probably, thinking about it, you know, one might just be bordering on, one might be a slightly different technology. I'm not 100% sure that because they both come up as T-Mobile, so one probably isn't an orange mast. It's probably just being able to pick up two different T-Mobile masts. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, what's missing from this list now is you'll see there's no 3G. We've abandoned 3G. It's uh, going to be, this year, it's being shut down. So there is really no point in us uh, selling intercoms that have got 3G technology in them. Instead, we've, uh, we can use the brand new LTE Cat1 BIS chipsets, and that gives us 4G calling on everything, so... You know, get rid of 3G gives you a really good 4G calling. On to another intercom now. This intercom is actually in Ireland. It's got a 3 IoT SIM in. Um, so we'll see what networks are available in its location. But it's picking up the 3G mast and it's not got a very good signal. So we'll click on um, we'll click on that. Obviously, by the way, if you look at that, there's no 4G call, no Volte. From experience, once these things get past 60%, very unlikely for it to actually reply. The reason being is because it's scanning the networks. It doesn't look after the connection to the server. So eventually that breaks. It happens at around the time it takes to get to 70%. <clears throat> excuse me. And so it's, it's likely that even though it's found a list, it's not able to tell us. Not all is lost though, if, if that does happen, you can actually just try it again because it tends to do the network scan a lot faster the second time. This one's got the same type of SIM card in it, so it's on 2G, obviously no Volte on 2G. There wouldn't be Volte anyway with these SIMs, there's no files for the Volte on the SIM card. So we'll try this intercom instead. Um, just whilst it's scanning, I'll mention what's going on with these SIMs. These SIMs have got no, they don't have the IMS keys in. For the 4G calling, they're missing that. You can see it if you look at. Doesn't you can actually go into developer tools here and see it. It's not. It's not there. Um, and what that means is that they've had to restrict these SIM cards to 2G and 3G. Oh, there we go. It's popped up. So this is the same SIM. 
So you can see it's a it's obviously a three SIM. It says uh, 4G is available, but the actual the SIM suppliers is, is um, they've restricted it to 2G because there's no Vaulty files. Okay, so we could select potentially select um, the 3G3 network or the or the 4G3 network. It's, it's actually on. If we say which if there is current looks, we're on three three 2G. So that's the current network. Um, it has to stay in that because of the type of SIM card it is. Like I say, it, it, it's not compatible with 4G call and that SIM card. But in the area, you can see we've got, well, Island Meteor is actually air now. So they changed that to air. So we've got 3G and 4G on Meteor. We've even got 2G on Meteor as well. Um, Meteor is air, in case uh, you're unfamiliar with what Meteor is. And also we have all three technologies on Vodafone as well. So in that location, we've got all three technologies on all three networks. Um, but for, for one reason or another, because of the type of SIM card it is, we're stuck on 2G and there's no 4G call available. <laughs> but you know, that, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the SIM card that's in there. So just to make that a bit more clear, these uh, IoT SIMs generally don't have the, the keys to use 4G call and within the SIM because they're, they're not really designed for voice. Although they'll work with the circuit switched networks, 2G and 3G. Once we get to 4G, there's something missing from them, so they, they can only use 2G and 3G, which that's why this one's locked onto 2G.